What's up guys, it's Friday. We're back with another What The Fitness. Now, I have been told, Lane, never punch down, always punch up. However, I have a special request. So I'm granting a special request. So today's video is from somebody who does have a, a following, but not somebody I would normally go after. That being said, when I looked through the videos, there was a lot of going on, so it will be fun to address. So let's see what I am willpowered has to say about energy drinks. All right, guys, the shocking truth about energy drinks. So you've heard all the stuff about bad ingredients, chemicals, sweeteners, etc. <gasps> Wait, there, there's chemicals in drinks? Oh, did you guys know that there's chemicals in drinks? Did you know there's chemicals in food? Did you know there's chemicals in this phone? Did you know you're breathing chemicals right now? Did you know everything is a chemical? Whole Lee, so many people are talking about chemicals who haven't taken basic chemistry. Sorry, that's very triggering for me as a biochemist. I'm assuming he is going to be talking about artificial sweeteners, but we'll have to keep watching. And this goes for all of them. They're all made from relatively the same manufacturers, putting the same cheap ingredients in them. And when you drink what them occasionally, no big deal. Your body's gonna do its thing, detox stuff out. But when you're doing it- Your body's gonna do its thing, detox stuff out. Um, yeah, you have a liver and kidneys. Right now, he has said a lot of words and has not made a single point. You're doing it all the times. Here is what has been proven to happen. So you say this word proven. I don't think it means what you think it means, but I digress. Happen. It deteriorates the gut, the lining of your gut, your microbiome. Okay, so first off, the lining of your gut is not your microbiome. Second off, it doesn't destroy the lining of your gut. Third off, it doesn't destroy your microbiome. And I feel like this guy just picked up a random news article or watched some YouTube videos and was like, mm, yep, I've watched at least 15 minutes of YouTube videos. I am definitely an expert to comment on this now. Some artificial sweeteners, not all, have been shown to change the gut microflora in terms of shifting them towards certain species of bacteria versus others. Now, what we don't know is whether that change is bad, good, or neutral because we have shown that some of these artificial sweeteners can shift the gut microflora towards species of bacteria that have been shown to produce more butyrate and propionate, which in randomized control trials actually seems to have health benefits like improving glycemic control and insulin sensitivity. So this idea that like artificial sweeteners and diet and, and energy drinks are, are gonna destroy your gut lining microbiome, microflora, and now I'm just gonna throw out a bunch of words to sound smart that I don't actually know what they fucking mean. No, there's no evidence of that. When that happens, your immune system suffers. You're also no evidence that they negatively affect your immune system. Hormone health can suffer. You could create things. Your hormone health can suffer. What hormones? Which ones specifically? Notice how he never uses anything specific. It's all very general. It's all very nebulous. That is on purpose. It is one, so you can't disprove it. And two, because he just doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. You could create things like leaky gut, sensitivities to food, and most importantly, these caffeine sources are very cheap, so it causes a dependency and a crash on purpose. <laughs> um, so caffeine dependency has never been shown. People like caffeine because of the way it makes them feel, so they tend to drink more of it. Um, also, the idea it's gonna give you leaky gut, there's no evidence to support that. This guy is now just spouting out random things. I'm surprised he's not saying that these energy drinks are gonna come into your house kick your dog and spit on your sister. Now here I'm gonna walk into Whole Foods. I'm gonna show you guys some the healthiest, cleanest alternatives from an ingredient and caffeine perspective. Oh. Are these gonna taste the best? Probably <laughs> not. And if of you course, want it's all the energy drinks that are just like, healthy, it's you know, Celsius. basically so just have natural and like plants on the bottle. Dude, or you're, drinking the other one, you're just completely bought in to this idea that like, if it says natural, it must be better for you. This is what's called the naturalistic fallacy. Um, there's no evidence of that. In fact, some of the natural sweeteners have less safety data on them than the artificial sweeteners. And finally, I saw that he was verified. Now, you guys may not know this, but when you're verified, but you have trash engagement, it's things that make you go, hmm. 
Now, starting in around March of 2023, prior to that, when you're an OG verified, like me, you got verified because Instagram looked at your stuff and was like, yeah, a lot of people follow you. There's fake accounts. We have to show that this person is legitimate. Now, that being said, there's a ton of verified accounts that say absolute horse shit, So it doesn't mean you know what you're talking about. But now you can pay to be verified. So basically, anybody can be verified if they present a government issued ID. Sure enough, when was he verified? March of 2023, which explains why he's verified but has trash engagement and not that many followers. Yes, I know that's petty. I'm sorry, I can't help it. Sometimes I like to be a human and be petty. And this guy, quite frankly, as far as like anti-science fear-mongering videos go, I've seen way better ones. He should really get with like Paul Saladino and Gary Brecca and Jason Fung and Stephen Gundry, and they could probably train him on how to sound like you know what you're talking about without actually knowing what you're talking about. Because quite frankly, bro, you didn't even sound like you knew what you were talking about. At least these guys can sound like they know what they're talking about, even though they don't really. So my advice is to get some mentorship from them and uh, maybe you can too learn to fleece millions of people rather than 10,000.